A sphere is increasing in radius at 30 pi inches per second. How fast is the surface area of the sphere increasing when the radius of the sphere is 12 inches? This type of problem is called a related rates problem. And it is so called because we are about to do some algebraic manipulation of differential or changing terms as well as regular terms and we're interested in their relationship among themselves. I'll tell you what I mean by that, but first I'm going to gather up some information from the problem like this piece of information that says the sphere is increasing in radius at 30 pi inches per second. That means we can say that dr dt, the rate of change in radius with respect to time, or indeed the derivative of radius with respect to time, is 30 pi. Elsewhere, we're told about a particular situation when the radius is 12. So we can say that the radius is 12. We've been asked about how fast the surface area of the sphere is increasing which means we need to know about ds dt. I'm using s to talk about surface area and ds dt to talk about the rate of change of surface area and identified this as a question mark. Our main job here is going to be to figure out what equation we can use to relate these terms together. Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. I dare say that this is one of the more obvious cases because of the word surface area and information we've been given about radius. Hopefully at this point we're familiar with the idea that the surface area of a sphere is given by the formula 4 pi r squared. That will have been half the battle. The next part will involve taking the derivative of this equation that definitely relates our quantities of interest. We need to do implicit differentiation on this. We'll do the derivative of each piece with respect to time. The derivative of s with respect to time is merely ds dt. The derivative of 4 pi r squared with respect to time, remembering our exponent rule, taking that 2 and bringing it on down, making it a constant now of 8 pi r to the first power. But don't forget, it is implied that the radius is changing with respect to time, so don't forget your implicit differentiation, slap a dr dt onto the end of that. And now what you might realize is we have this really nice equation that straight up gives us ds dt already isolated. And our only job is to go ahead and plug in our r and our dr dt to quantities that we already know a few things about. We'll have 8 pi times 12 times 30 pi. This is a quantity that simplifies in its cleanest form to 2880 pi squared and the unit for this will be inches squared per second since after all we're talking about a change in surface area per unit time. 